Important an issue is immigration well, to you. Well, but I can't get a job. They, they, get, they come to this country and they just get a job just like that. So when you apply, what do they say to you? Well, I've got a criminal record. Assault. Assault. Yeah. How long ago? Well, I've been out of prison now three years now. And so you blame immigrants yeah. rather yeah. than your criminal yeah. record? That was very interesting and I know you find it very interesting. So just give me a like. Like the video kindly for a recommendation before you go further. This is Comfort for Life and bring to you a collection of TikTok videos for educational purposes. Thank you for being part of this. And on today's video, we are still on the UK situation where um, we are still trying to dig deeper and understand what is happening in the country and the things that people have not gotten to understand, you know, and the confusion that people are having that we are erasing right now by uh, creating awareness through this video. Remember, this is an educational channel and you are also welcome to dig deeper and do your own research. You don't have to believe everything that you see here. You can also do further research where you, uh, <laughs> you are uh, doubting, you know. Yeah, there is a lot to unpack in this video. But before we go further, why do we have legal, illegal immigrants in the UK that mm, are stealing jobs from people who are also having a record that um, deny them jobs that they don't want to acknowledge because they have immigrants in their countries? What do you think? Why, do they, why, why are there so many immigrants in that country? We will also be looking at slavery and the effect of it on what is happening in the UK right now. And even, uh, and what is yet to happen, you know, because that exploitation that happened long ago, it's still happening right now. Right now, I'm also a refugee. I'm not in my country because of the same issue. I'm also an immigrant in a different country. So, <laughs> and it has not stopped up to now. And I can speak on behalf of immigrants. Because, you know, people always say, I don't have a problem with immigrants, but I want them to come in legally. You know, well, yeah, we hear it all the time. So what, what is your response to that? Yeah, I want immigrants to come here the legal way too. But this country has not created New York pathways. And the very last time there was reform to actually fix something on immigration, I was three years old. I'm 40 now. Oh, okay, perfect. I'm 40. <laughs> um, 40 where? But yes. uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but here, here's the thing. No one wants to pay a coyote $25,000. Like, risk everything, nearly die, dragging their two-year-old through jungles. The threat of being raped in that journey to come to this country, if they could be here the legal way. So I get so ridiculously frustrated when I hear do it the legal way. Then why don't you actually, when I file a bill to do it the legal way, why don't you vote on it? The reality is that most people that say that, particularly members of Congress, have no interest in actually fixing the problem. Immigrants should just go back to their country. Yeah. So. I'm going to tell you a secret. Mm. A lot of immigrants actually do want to go back to their country. Why don't they just go back? So there's this thing called colonialism. Have you heard of it before? You guys used to be a slave, yeah? Shut up. And no oh, you see. Oh, oh, you are, you are, you are, you are, you see. You see, you're just telling, you're just, you're just, you're just praying out you. You're just praying out your anger now. You're praying out your word of your mind. You are not. No, you haven't. So. Your country went to their country, they took power, took control, tried to push their culture onto these people in this country for years and years and years. That's what would happen. And then before they left, they took this country's valuables, assets, wealth, gold, and brought everything back to your country. So, if you really want these immigrants out of your country, I think the easiest and fastest way to do that is if your country gave back every wealth, assets, money, gold that they took. Mm. Oh, asylum seekers and refugees, you don't want them coming in. The reason why they come over is because their countries aren't really safe anymore some countries bomb their countries so they have no houses they have no hospitals they have no schools their pavements ruined everything is rubble there's also 
this thing where certain countries are responsible for an increased escalation, increase of conflict in their countries so these people don't feel safe in their own country anymore and that's why they come to other countries that feel safer to them, to be safe. Mm -hmm. But if you told these people responsible, these countries responsible to stop then I would think there would be a decline of asylum seekers and refugees. Which country is responsible? Uh, maybe you should talk to your government regarding that. Mm. These brown and black people are just taking your jobs. Mm. And our hospital is infested with Filipino nurses. It's like 90% Filipino nurses. What is that? Yeah, all, all the doctors you know are, are immigrants and brown and black. Hmm. So, I'm going to tell you an insider fact. So, the NHS is heavily, heavily, severely understaffed. I would recommend that you apply to be a nurse or doctor. There's a lot of jobs going and they'd be very, very, very grateful. You don't have qualifications. You don't have experience. It's totally okay because there's a lot more roles within the NHS that doesn't require qualifications or experience. And there's jobs going, so you can apply. You have a criminal record. But it's the brown and black people taking your jobs, yeah. If you're a British person and you don't want refugees coming to your country, I have some tips for you. The best way to stop refugees from coming here is to write to your government, hold them accountable and ask them to stop creating wars in places so that refugees have no other option but to come here. Rioting on the streets, breaking people's houses, dragging people out of their cars, assaulting them is not going to stop immigration. What is going to stop immigration is keeping the places that, where those refugees are from, keeping those places safe. Stopping bombing them to shit. Stopping going there and stealing their natural resources and constructing any bullshit reason, war, that we need in order to do that. If we stay out of other people's countries, they will stay out of ours. They don't want to leave their homelands. Have you been to the Middle East? I've lived in the Middle East. I have seen with my own eyes the beauty of these places, the rich culture, the food, the food. They don't want to leave. You think they want to come to Little Britain and have fish and chips, gammon and eggs? Almost certainly not because they don't eat gammon. And they certainly don't want you gammon ruining their experience here. These people, these, these people taking to the streets, rioting, being violent, I'd like to see them last one second in the shit show that we have created in other countries, us and the US and Israel, to be clear. Yeah, how many of you um, rioters, how many of you have been on Palestinian protests? How many of you stood up for Iraq when we were unlawfully there or Afghanistan? And it's funny, isn't it, how when Russia invaded Ukraine, we were all open to the Ukrainians coming here, weren't we? I never saw any riots about that. I actually saw a lot of Ukrainian flags. I saw a lot of people opening up their homes to Ukrainians, as they should, which is lovely, it's noble. But it's just interesting, isn't it, that if you have a little bit more melanin in your skin, the British, they're not so friendly. Hmm. Be better, do better, do your research, use your brain. We have some of the best education in the world here in Britain. You wouldn't think it. You certainly wouldn't think it. Maybe if we spend less time learning about the Tudors or, you know, the obsession of the World Wars. I think we should learn about it, don't get me wrong, but we all know so much about World War One and World War II and how Great Britain won and oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. But we don't know an awful lot about the wars that we created. 
I think that's absurd. You feel very sorry for all these immigrants that are coming into our country, right? The ones who are being persecuted, the ones who are running away from their countries because they have no food to eat, they have nowhere to go, their houses are all taken away. I know that you feel very, very sorry for them. But I got some flashing news for you. And I need you to listen because I came from a place that was destroyed by the same ideology. You feel sorry for these people, but you're supporting the same policies that destroyed their country. We Americans are going to end up just like them if we don't start taking action right now. More than half of these immigrants come from Venezuela. Go ask them if they're able to purchase a firearm in Venezuela. Go ask them why they're leaving their countries. Go ask them how many good citizens were killed by the state police that are now controlling everything and, and you're not able to say what you need to say. You don't have any more freedom of speech. You just have to say amen to everything that Maduro says. And still, you want to stop American people from purchasing firearms. Don't you understand that having the right to defend yourself our second amendment is actually protecting our first amendment the most important amendment of all if we're not able to defend ourselves our government can take away our most precious thing which is our freedom you keep promoting welfare like it's the best thing in the world. The government is actually so happy about it all because it's easy to control people when you give them some sort of money here and there, when you buy them their food. They actually want this from us. We need to run away for any type of welfare. I understand some people will need it eventually, but this got to be like for an urgent situation. We should not be celebrating welfare. You create debt in this country and now you come up saying that you have solutions for it and people are blindly accepting it. This type of government is the same type of government that destroyed Venezuela and other countries like mine, Brazil. When the government controls your food, your housing, your income, you are not in good hands. Stop believing that the government is here to help you. They're not. And especially this government trying to erase the middle class. They just want to divide us into rich and poor. And when they're able to do that here in America, I'll tell you, my friend, that's the day America is over. You're supporting policies that discredit the family as an important institution for our society. You're trying to take away parents' rights on their children. They've already infiltrated the press, they've already infiltrated schools and universities, and they're just ready for you all to give in. But we should not. I need you to open your eyes and see and take these countries as an example. Why are these people here? What are they running away from? I need you to think about that for a second and start thinking about the things that you're supporting and defending here in America. And you'll understand that the end result for all of the things that you support is the same thing that happened to these people's countries. And now look at them risking their lives to get in here. I'm not saying it's correct. I don't agree with illegal immigration, but I do know that one of the biggest arguments of people who say they agree with it, that poor people, blah, 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 is this. Like, oh, you're so heartless. Don't you look at them and feel sorry for them? Like they came from such bad countries, all of this stuff. So here I am telling you, yes, you're right. You're right. They did run away from their countries, but I want you to ask yourself, a question that goes in depth of why, why did they leave their countries? What happened there? And when you start studying about it, you'll see the truth.